hello everyone welcome back to another video and if you're new here welcome to my channel please subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up everyone so today we're going to be doing some press on nails now they didn't come out exactly how i wanted them to come out but i made it work <laughs> so um if you're wondering i did get this inspiration from it was actually about three different people that I've seen on Facebook and Instagram. And I cannot remember um, everyone's names. But I rem I do know that um, the most recent person that I've seen do this before I did it was Nails by Vic on YouTube and Instagram. So she does poly gel if you guys know her which i'm pretty sure a lot of people know her she's very well known when it comes to nails so um she's one of my favorites honestly actually i'm not sure if i ever mentioned that but her and lisette cruz i believe are my favorite nail youtubers <laughs> but yeah she's the one that i got this inspiration from and it didn't come out exactly like it was supposed to i'm not good at doing ombre with gel polishes um like at all i really need to work on that so i decided to use these powders that i got way back maybe a year ago by now and yeah they're like really bright neon colors and i just wanted to see if i was going to be able to blend them which I didn't really, like, I wasn't able to that well. But they did end up coming out, like, watercolor. They look like they're watercolored. I don't know. But, yeah, I was clearly struggling. Um, some of it was not staying on. Like, it wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be. And I'm thinking it's because I only used the tacky layer from this white gel polish. It's not... It's a soak off gel polish, so it has that tacky layer. Um, and I don't think it was as strong as I thought it would be because at the very end, I did end up using a, um, I believe, like a the transfer foil gel that I have from Beatles Polish. And that worked a lot better with holding on to the pigment than just using this um just the gel polish and using the tacky layer so yeah i would definitely do that next time instead just to make sure it's actually pigmented now when it comes to the blending i still need to figure that out with the powder and i really want to learn how to blend with gel polishes um i was basically struggling i don't i know um I end up trying to do it on this video as well you guys will see because I did not want to use acrylic for this I wanted them to be pressed on nails and they did not end up working out that way I ended up having to use acrylic um, to do the ombre that I did after this so yeah it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to but I loved the end result also again you guys if you guys are new here i forgot to mention i am doing a giveaway so check out my giveaway video for details on that it will be valid until the 8th so four more days and then the giveaway will be closed and we will have two winners for that giveaway so make sure to be a part of that I also have about two videos that might end up being posted just today. I have like five videos to edit. I have so much stuff to edit. Um, that's really why there hasn't been any posting lately because I haven't been editing them. Um, I've just been recording videos every single day without editing. Mainly because I don't really have the time to edit and do a voiceover for everything so it's very frustrating right now and then you know something always has to happen in life where i'm like preoccupied and not able to focus completely on nails and my videos which sucks but i try to catch up as much as i can so i appreciate everyone who watches my videos 
regardless on how random the posting is i know a lot of people have like a schedule and let their subscribers know when they're going to post and i don't really do that i just post when i can so thank you guys so much for watching regardless also thank you for the last video all of the amazing and sweet comments that you guys made i appreciate it so much it is honestly the best thing in the world to read your guys' comments. It makes my day so much better. I don't think I actually showed you guys. I think I cut the footage out, but I did try to go in with a gel polish, a nude gel polish to do an ombre, and it was not working out at all. Like, it looked so bad. <laughs> I'm guessing it was that bad that I couldn't even, I didn't add it in the video at all. But yeah, I ended up taking it off and then going in with a, a nude acrylic from Mia Secret. I believe it's the cover beige. And that's what I used for the ombre here, which I think came out a lot better. The biggest struggle here was just trying to make it as thin as possible. Just because, again, these are supposed to be press-on nails. They're not supposed to be acrylic nails at all so yeah <laughs> it was very frustrating i was trying to make it as thin as possible but also like covering up all the color and stuff yeah it was horrible for a second but at the end it was amazing at least for me it was amazing so i was happy with it so how has your guys's week been you guys um has it been good has anything eventful happened i've actually just been well busy but you know it's usually the same aside from some minor stuff that happens every now and then um my family's been pretty good as well Let me know down below what your guys' favorite shows are right now or what like new shows you guys are interested or hooked on. I kind of ran out of shows to watch, I feel like. Um, but yeah, I usually binge watch shows. If I do, if I am interested in anything, I binge watch them in like a day or two. But yeah, right now I'm watching anime. I'm not sure if everyone likes that, but I do somewhat like anime shows so i'm watching inuyasha if you guys know that show at all there's a show that i watched when i was little and now i wanted to watch it over again so i've been watching that when i have free time and i really really want to do a nail set with that but like paint it but i'm not good at painting like nail art yet so i want to wait a little bit before i try that but yes inuyasha and sailor moon are definitely the top two animes that i want to do a nail set on so hopefully i get good enough to where i feel comfortable doing it i feel like i'd have to draw the characters out on paper before i try it on nails so i'm not sure yet how i'm gonna do it i might try to do a couple of sketches because i used to draw when i was in middle school but it's been a long time since then so i don't know how that would turn out
and one of the things i'm not sure if you guys have noticed because i have not mentioned it but i also did lose my mixing palette for my gels so yeah i've been mixing stuff and putting all of my gels on random things lately which include this box right here from i believe beetles polish i think it was if not it's from a cart but yeah <laughs> so i'm using this random box just to mix stuff on top of and yeah because i could not find a pink that i needed for this set i wanted a very light whitish pink and i could not find it anywhere i didn't have it the exact color so i had to make it and i think it turned out really good and if you guys don't know yet i haven't said it but i am doing those hearts that those candy hearts that you get on valentine's day i don't know if anyone else um has ever had that in like elementary and middle school when you get a valentine's they'd give you those little candy hearts in that little tiny box so yeah that's what i wanted to do today um i thought it would look really cute and yeah they usually say like be mine or miss you i don't know it was just stuff like that like i love you just little cute saying so yes that is what i'm doing today i was a little bit scared because i'm not the best at drawing hearts either so i was a little scared you know some of my hearts came out a little bit weird but i loved the end result um the only thing i noticed once i put the nails on and looked at them is that all of the hearts are facing the same way on every nail and i did not want that to happen i wanted it to look more natural if that makes any sense at all and yeah it did not look natural it looked really weird and like um like every nail was the same and i was so mad after that because i had already finished everything and put my top coat on so i was like wow i did not notice that until now if you don't understand what i'm trying to say you'll see at the very end when all the hearts are facing the same way And I really wanted the hearts to look exactly like the candies and be more 3D. So I did go in and put and outline them and then also put like a little part showing like the 3D side of the hearts. And then coloring that in as well. And I feel like that just gave it an extra touch of... I don't know like it made it look more like it's popping out at you which I actually really like that part
This right here is honestly going to be my favorite nail. I have had these hearts for a while. I have red and holographic and then blue ones of these crystal hearts. So yeah, I was in love with how it looked. Honestly, it was my favorite, favorite nail from this whole set was just looking at this. It was just so pretty against the blue and purple and pink background. It was just amazing to me. And then that that little pearl right there as well at the top. Honestly, this was so pretty. And if you're wondering, because you can see it right now, the nude did get very dirty from the powders that I had. So I did end up going in and lightly filing off like a layer from that acrylic um, lightly, as light as possible just so that dirty layer like all of that blue and purple literally rubbed and smudged the nude acrylic so it looked very dirty so yeah i had to go in and clean that off um and then after that i did a top coat after this whole crystals that i put on so yeah it was a bit of a mess i would honestly do it so much different next time working with these powders but this is basically after I cleaned everything off. Um, some of the ombre came out a little bit weird after I did it. But I honestly love this set so much after everything. I think it's a really cute, fun Valentine's Day look. And it just brings back nostalgic memories from elementary school and middle school. When I would get those little candy hearts. So I thought it was really fun to do. Especially with the purple, blue, and pink background, it definitely gives me, like, old school vibes from, like, the 90s or 80s. I don't know. But, yeah, I really love this set so much. I love how it looked. It's, like, a really fun, cute set. And since they were press-ons, they weren't super long. Like, I usually have them, but they weren't short either. They're, like, right in the middle for me, so they're really fun to do but yes this is how my nails came out i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this nail set please like subscribe and leave any comments down below thank you so much for watching bye